was another day at the office. Quiet, boring, dreadful. Nothing but overdue bills and a bottle of scotch to keep me company. The name's Charles. Charles Yu. Private Eye. When you're in my line of work, there's one thing you'll come to learn about this world. Nothing is ever as it seems. Come in. When he wandered into the room, there was a sense of mystery about him. The kind of mystery that said, I am the inciting incident of this story. If trouble had a face, it was sitting 20 inches away from me. Yep, 20 inches. You gotta help me, he said. His buddy Elijah had a few too many drinks that night when a car ran him over. The poor bastard's brain was scattered on the concrete before it even hit him. Guess he couldn't hold his liquor after all. But what makes you so sure that it's not an accident? Well, a few weeks before the night, Elijah bought a $1 million life insurance. What? You know, he might want to talk to his wife. She's a primary beneficiary of the insurance. She frequents this bar down in Holland Village. Bars. A delinquent's hangout. If not for my investigation, I could never imagine myself stepping foot in such a deplorable place. Hey Charles, the usual? Shh! I knew she was trouble the second I laid my eyes on her. If looks could kill, she would be wanted dead or alive. What is a beautiful woman like you doing in a place like this? I could ask you the same question. She was my kind of girl. Female. Charles, private investigator. Rosa, Ben Patel, to what do I owe for you? Um, you can start with this. Elijah was a good man. Problematic one, but a kind heart that soul nonetheless. He didn't deserve to go out in such a reckless manner. Except. Except. Except that it was neither the alcohol nor the concrete that killed him that fateful night. It was pride. Elijah was boxing. He won a fight he was never supposed to. Costing lots of dangerous men, lots of money. Half the city were up for his head. Death was merely mercy. That's all I can tell you, I'm afraid. Pardon me. That's all I needed. Thank you. You know, if not for our exposition, the film would be over 12 minutes. <laughs> ah, it's okay. On me. Have a good day. A boxer did by his own hands. How ironic. If you think that's a cruel joke, you clearly haven't seen the budget for this production. All the clues were pointing in one direction. Hello, Mr. Zane. I was treading in dangerous territory. I'm 
I was a fish out of water. I hadn't been this out of breath since Indonesia last burned down your forest. This outfit was a mistake. Hook, line and sink it. It was now or never. Mistake was a luxury I could no longer afford. Hello? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, what happened? Oh my god, pass away! Oh my god! Bingo. That's enough. What do you think you're doing? Reprimanding a murderer. More specifically, you. Murder? I don't know what you're talking about. With those acting skills, not even Medica will accept them. The jig is up, buddy. You can spy with Elijah to throw the boxing match away for money, but he was too proud for his own good. So you decided to kill him. I gotta admit, smart of you to make it look like as an accident. But before the authorities realized something was amiss, You'll be halfway across the globe, enjoying a glass of spritz in Venice. So, Mr. Zane, did I miss anything out? Just one thing. Long time no see. Rosa? But, why? Elijah was an abusive drunk. Whenever he lost, I would only become his personal punching bag. Zane offered me something he never could. Affection. And a bit more. His foolish pride made him a walking time bomb on this island. I only had to light the fuse. That's not how a time bomb works. It was either me or him. And I chose me. So we got to work. After all, two heads are better than one. Babe? I'm sorry, babe. But there's only room for one millionaire in this story. Now, the briefcase. Make it quick.
Come, boys. You'll never get away with this. You clearly haven't read the script. So that will do. You're lucky someone caught in a burglary next door. So now I just need all your supporting documents and we should be good to go. I'm sorry, what? Supporting documents? Yeah, like the evidence for the case. Ah! I am a horrible detective. So this drink is for you. The lady over there wants you to have this. Enjoying your retirement, I see. Pretty much. Although, that's a little too much for just one person alone. If only I had someone to share the load with. Oh, really? <coughs> so, tell me. Why are you doing this Friday night? Nothing as of now. So, what are your viewpoints of latex models?